Hi. Um, I am coming to you and going to start coming to you more often. Um, I kind of got to come up and my daughter said, you know, mom, if the Lord gives you word and you don't share it. It's like throwing it in the dirt. And I am not going to be that person. So the Lord has been giving me words for years. I just started writing them down in a, in a manner in which I can actually share them. I don't know, a, a while ago. And so as I went back through these, the Lord said to start with this one. I received this word. Oh, wait, before we do that, let's pray. Oh, Father God, the great I am, the one true God. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you, precious Jesus. Precious Jesus of Nazareth, son of the one true God and the Holy Spirit, his comforter. Thank you for all you do in our lives. I come before you right now and I ask for forgiveness of my sins. I ask forgiveness for not speaking these words before. But thank you that you have developed in me a confidence now that I don't care what, what's thrown against me. I will stand. I will put on the armor of God and I will stand. And I will speak your words. Lord God, I ask for a bubble of encryption of everything that is said here. And Lord, protect it in the name of Jesus. That bubble of encryption cannot be penetrated by Satan or any of his entities. And I ask for protection and covering over all of the people that are watching this or reading it or hearing it. Lord God, protect them, protect their families, and protect the one who is giving it and, and my family as well. Lord God, we thank you. We thank you and, and give you all the praise and all the honor. I, I am nothing but a willing vessel. I am nothing special. Every single person that is watching this or hearing it can do what you are doing with me. So Lord God, in the name of Jesus, it says in your word that your sheep know your voice. So I pluck out the demonic earwax. I pluck out anything that may be stopping it from hitting their brains. And I, and I cleanse their hearts in the blood of Jesus Christ. That every word that is spoken tonight will bring you glory, you honor, and, you, and we give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Okay, so I've been getting words my whole life. But I just recently, not, not recently, but in the last few years, I've started writing them down in a manner that I could actually then turn around and share them with people. And then I didn't because of fear. And there's a bit down in here that's to me um, about that. So I want to come to you right now, and I want to say boldly, don't make small what the Lord puts in you. Everyone can hear his voice. Lord, I, I ask that the Lord would guide you in that and nurture you and grow you. And I think that's partly what the 600 and the prayer warriors has been about. It's been about growing in your walk. So I'm going to take you back to December 20th of 2020. And this is a word from the Lord. It's a rhema word from the Lord. Um, there's going to be some that are just almost all scripture. This one is rhema word. Okay. I had been in the word. I was so torn up over the election. I just felt like, like everything that we had done had been a failure. Now I know that's not true. But that's part of the reason I didn't share these is because it, I was hurting so badly. Now it's like, no, we are... We are the warriors of the Lord, and he wants us to pray into these things that he has told us. So that's my job for you, is to hear with fresh ears what the Lord is saying and asking you to pray into and pray over and pray about. Okay? All right, here we go. Thus saith the Lord God Almighty. The Spirit of the Lord. Thus saith the Spirit of the Lord. That's a powerful phrase right there. Today is a turning point. Fire and brimstone will come upon the heads of those who, that have turned away from God, upon those seeking to destroy what I, Elohim, have const has constructed. The United States was constructed by men of God who wanted the right to have freedom of religion, to be able to worship me without fear of retribution. Look where we're at today. I am a just God. I will repay kindness for kindness, kind act for kind act, but I will also repay evil for evil. Do not fear me if you are righteous. If you are not, there is no room for you to run. 
My light will expose your dark deeds and deals made in the darkness. Evil cannot withstand the light of my judgment. Woe to you who are evil. Woe to you, evildoers. You may laugh now, but soon your tears will flow as a river of blood. My time of judgment has begun. Repent and return. It's a hard one to say. Or run and burn. You who are my servants, for such a time as this must stand strong. Pray as never before. How many times has he said that to us? Pray as never before. Ignite the light of eternity. Trim your lamps with oil and be ready for the bridegroom. Be ready. Speak now, my children. This part is for me. Shake off the cloak of fear and do the work now. But he also says that's for you now as well. He has worked in your hearts. He's grown you up. And it's time to shake off the cloak of fear and do the work that he has called you to do. Obey, for the time draws near. Pray as never before. Thus saith the Spirit of the Lord. Now it's our time to get to work. It's our time to pray. It's time to stand, to put on the armor of God and stand as never before. Are you ready? Let's do this together. I have thrown off the cloak of fear, and I am going to do the work. And I, I know you're going to join me. Father God, we lift up this. We give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. May your words that you want to ignite their heart take root in all things that are of me and need to pass away, gone with the wind. I ask these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Okay, talk to you soon. God bless you all.